So I want to shed some light on uh, food poisoning concerns around poultry. The major concern regarding poultry would be salmonella and the industry claims that the salmonella uh, concern is directly associated with poultry as though a chicken breast cannot keep for more than say two days in your fridge or something like that. And that salmonella is getting into eggs because the eggs aren't being washed thoroughly enough. And so there's a lot of government regulation surrounding how well eggs are washed and refrigeration on the poultry and how sanitized the facilities are. But I want to clear up that, that salmonella contamination used to be foreign to poultry. The reason for it being common now is because the, the barns are getting filthier and filthier and there's more and more birds and uh, this is causing the ammonia levels in the barn to rise significantly to intolerable levels. And this burns lesions into the lungs of the birds and then they breathe their fecal matter through these bloody lesions into their lungs, uh, into their bloodstream. So now the meat is pre-contaminated with manure basically and also the eggs have the salmonella laid directly into them. So government policies informing the public to cook poultry to a certain temperature or uh, washing the eggs a certain way, it's not going to solve the problem. These problems get fixed uh, by the farmer who is responsible in making sure that there's no elevated ammonia levels in the barn and the birds are getting proper feed and they're getting sunlight and there's air ventilation that's appropriate for the amount of birds. So these food concerns, these safety concerns, can be solved uh, at the farmer level. They're not natural to poultry, and they don't get solved by, by regulations or chemicals. I want to talk about how historically abnormal it is to get food poisoning from a clean animal, like a, a ruminating herbivore, a cow, or sheep, or goats. It, it's not normal for their intestinal tract to be able to pass any bacteria that will harm a human. And that's why there is a separation between clean and unclean animals. It's not a, a religious thing, although it's widely associated with religious groups. It's actually a biological separation, and I'll explain. When a ruminating herbivore eats grass, not grain, because when you feed a, a cow grain, their stomach becomes quite acidic. I'm talking just a grass-fed ruminating herbivore. So these, these animals have a neutral pH, and that means that any bacteria or parasite in their intestinal tract will die immediately on contact with your intestinal tract, which is highly acidic. When cows get fed grain and the stomach becomes acidic, those bacteria learn how to survive in our intestinal tract, and that's why we're starting to see food contamination and food poisoning recalls in the conventional beef industry. Uh, food poisoning of this nature was, was only associated with pork in the past. It's normal to have to cook pork to certain temperatures to kill all the bacteria, but that should not be a concern with beef. Uh, beef, you should be able to eat it as rare as you like without any risk of food poisoning. For, for the reason of that separation, whereas with pork, um, they have an acidic stomach, and so all of their bacteria and all of their parasites in their intestinal tract are transferable to people. I think that's important to consider in the food industry because if you're eating uh, beef from the grocery store that has a risk of making you ill, we should be seriously questioning farming practices. We shouldn't be talking about what temperature it now needs to be cooked to. Because essentially what you're doing is you're, you're cooking uh, bacterial contamination, but you're still eating it. And w cooking should never be a process of killing bacteria to make things edible. That's, that's a wrong way of looking at food. That bacteria that can harm you should not be there in the first place. And so with, with our grass-fed beef, you should know that it's
And that's why hunters have been uh, killing animals and, and dragging them out of the forest behind uh, you know, ATVs and putting them on their trucks and hauling them in hot weather and then uh, getting them cut up in their garage without government inspected facilities. And the odds of getting ill from uh, game is negligible because the game isn't getting grain. Whereas the more you get into these sophisticated government inspected facilities that are ignoring the role that grain feeding has on, on food safety, uh, despite all of the, the uh, high-tech stainless steel quaternary disinfectant irradiation measures to keep the bacteria under control, it's just not successful. And, and people's lives are now at risk eating what should be a perfectly clean and safe animal.